New scoreboards, new lights. Here they come in prime time. And there is the acting head coach here tonight, offensive coordinator Sharon Moore, as Jim Harbaugh is serving the third and final game of his suspension. Sharon Moore, the second ever African-American head coach in program history after Mike Hart had that responsibility in the second half last week. Quick throw. It's Fannin, and he's popped. Inside the 40 after a gain of two, it's third down. It's a great matchup to put on a talented tight end and Fannin from Bowling Green's offense. A play action, balls out. He picks it up and he is brought down back inside Falcon territory. So on third down, it goes backwards. And that, he just, he just never had it, Corey. It, it's. You're going to see here there was nothing that caused this to happen. The ball just slipped out of his hands. No, it is not raining. It is dry. J.J. McCarthy and Michigan with the ball first and 10 from its own 23-yard line. Blake Horn, his first carry is a good one. Make it great inside the 25. Second toss to Edwards, now the reverse, Donovan Edwards inside the 15-yard line. It's a great, great run to start this game. And 11 more for Edwards, another first down. McCarthy stretching inside the five. Corn. End zone, touchdown Michigan. Let the light show begin. point is good. Blake Corr, his 38th career touchdown. 36 of those have come on the ground. What a start in prime time. Michigan by seven. Another throw from Orth, and this is going backwards. Maybe a gain of one with forward progress. side of your screen a nickel pressure they brought this already a couple times today that's the running back Jerron Keith you got to get him but good luck Mikey Sainer still he's like a wisp of smoke you go to hit him he's gone he's behind you and down goes the quarterback drop of the hammer at the end the co-captain his third career sack and the last place you want to be is third and 16 if you're Bowling Green Orth, mm. a late pitch. I think that was a forward pass. So well shy of the line to gain. Pitchbackers, Hardiman and Anders are vital to the Falcon defense. Here's Edwards, all opened up. Had to reach the 20. McCarthy, nice catch made inside the 10 by Roman Wilson. And they're downfield blocking. To the end zone, that's intercepted in the end zone by Jalen Husky. 
First pick thrown all year by J.J. McCarthy. McCarthy, eighth of his career. Open. And that's knocked away by Mikey Saber still. Or did he catch it? The officials confer. That's a catch for Abdul Fatai Ibrahim. First down, Bowling Green. As he was tumbling down to the ground, and he pinned that ball up against his shoulder. So it's a catch. Fourth hit and sacked again. Back near the 45 yard line. Cam Good. Quick throw over the middle, and that's caught inside the 40 near the line to gain by Levi Gazerik. Making it for an easy read for the second string quarterback, Orth, at Bowling Green. Nice run for Keith. And he'll be near another first down to the 27 yard line, tackled by Junior Colson in an environment like this. Final 15 seconds of the opening quarter. Taking a shot towards the end zone. That's open, stretching in, unable to haul it in. Was Hilaire. On second down. Pumps. Takes off and is walloped near the 22 yard line. And that'll be the final play. Sounded loud. It's a clean catch made by Keith. So it's a 36 yard try for Allen Anaya. And it is good. So Anaya now three of three on field goal attempts this season. That one good from 36. Back to receive this Jack Sauter kick. And it's a short kick. Bredesen. That ball came out, and the Falcons have it. The Turnover, Michigan. As they fumble, recovered by Bowling Green. First down. Start here early in the game to keep Bowling Green in it. Outstanding field position for the Falcons. Jason Patterson. The pile is still moving. It's a hard fought. Patterson cut back over the middle. And he'll be about a yard shy of the line to gain. Option. Hilaire. Short. And now they will line up for another field goal try. Adaya. This would be from 42. Perfect. From Mexican-born Alan Anaya. So off the turnover, the Falcons turn that into three points, and we have a one-point game. We're back in 30 seconds. Another short kick. And that ball's on the ground as the pile builds near the 37-yard line. That's, I mean, kick it to the DN, Braden McGregor. Recovered by Michigan. If I didn't have a tight end in my <laughs> impact players, Corey, but Colston Loveland is an impact player. It's time to see him have a breakout game. Corum spinning his way for a first down to the Bowling Green 38. I want to share some of that with you here after this snap just to talk about his character. McCarthy. And he's picked up again near the five yard line. Jordan Oladokun. Oladokun across the 30. So McCarthy. Incomplete. Intended for Ibrahim. See the Falcons just run a draw play here. And they will. It's Keith. 
actually going on, but JJ and there's those guys, they're trying to encourage each other to get some momentum as they go into halftime. Hi, Brooke, thank you. Yeah, three first half turnovers and it's Corum. And he'll be about a yard shy of the first Mystery, down. Which side taught her right now. And she gets first, third down tonight. And a first down of the 45. McCarthy and the Wolverines, first to 10. On play action. Lovelet going up, pulling it down inside the 35. Good throw to Colston Lovelet. Now, of course, I'm biased, but when your quarterback's struggling a little bit, you always throw to the big target, the tight end, Colston Lovelet. But two interceptions over his last four passes thrown. Touchdown, Michigan. And that's going to feel real good for JJ, real good for Roman Wilson. Extra point is good from James Turner. 14th career touchdown for Roman Wilson. Couple of confident throws from J.J. McCarthy. First to Loveland, now to Wilson. That one for 33. McCarthy fired up here. 14-6, Michigan. Pressure coming. Timoshek into coverage and that is picked off. Quinton Johnson with the pick. First Bowling Green turnover. And Johnson puts on the shades. Big house with Jake Butt. It's right up there. Take that, Hummel. <laughs> A special place, man. Setting up the screen, that's intercepted! Chris Jenkins picked it off. First and goal for Michigan as the Mutant strikes. They call him the Mutant, but he's nimble on his feet right here in the middle of your screen. He's thinking, wait a second, wait a second. No free lunches for the defensive line. If you get through that clean, he said, hey, wait a second, I'm not that good. It must be a screen. Chris Jenkins, the mutant, with soft hands. It almost got into the end zone. Tim O'Shack, the walk-on quarterback, his last three passes thrown, two have been picked off. High formation, it's Corn. Fighting, end zone, touchdown, Wolverines. Did you see him running his feet? On contact down there. The crowd's been waiting to sing this. It's been a, a slow start by Michigan standards. James Turner, grand transfer from Louisville, came back home. He's from nearby Saline, Michigan, and the extra point is good. When your back's against the wall, you dial up the mutant, number 94, Chris Jenkins. Can you please give us the ball back inside the five and make no mistake about it. No doubt, inside the five, handed to number two, Blake Corum. Elements to turning around this program and the number one guy he would take with him anywhere he goes. A second down, that ball came out, that's long. And Michigan pounces on top of it. Michael Barrett has the ball in his hands. It's Michigan football. I am the only one on the field is a fumble recovered by Michigan. 
second, second straight turnover forced by Michigan. That, that, that to me looks like a fumble, Corey. It's a clean recovery by Michael Barrett. Let's bring in Steve Strindling, our rules analyst from Los Angeles. Right now, Steve, yep. it's ruled a fumble. Will that stand? Next week. McCarthy, his okay stays in. Towards the end zone, off the fingertips. Looking for Tyler Morris. That's tipped and it's caught by Loveland. So a deflected pass and Loveland hung in there, caught it, picked up six, but third down and long upcoming for Michigan. Edwards. That pile. With some momentum. The 25. A gain of six. He's made from 50. He's missed from 52. It's good. 42 yard field goal for Turner and Michigan with 10 points off a couple of Bowling Green second half turnovers. He got banged up in the first half. Stewart loses one. Stewart. Patterson. It'll be fourth down. Trying that slow counterplay, slow developing, but you know, Junior Colson's coming off the tight end, Max Pedersen. It's caught. Nice run. Out near the 46, two yards shy of 100 yards rushing here tonight. And he'll have the first down, not to the 50. of the Michigan program. You think about what a strength coach is, and you're the head coach of the offseason. It's limited time due to NCAA rules. He's the culture developer. And the leadership developer for this Michigan team when Harbaugh isn't there. Great flicker. McCarthy taking a chance in a 10. It's in a B. Knocked around and caught off the deflection by Johnson. Touchdown, Michigan. But it's all said and done, a 50-yard touchdown, fleet flicker, tip drill time. Yeah, it's tip drill, but that's Davon Ferguson. He wasn't fooled. The Bowling Green First defense opportunity is Johnson's touchdown. First touchdown reception for Johnson this season. We're back in 30 seconds. Timoshak. Michigan brings some pressure. They run right at that blitz and a first down carry for Jamal Three Johnson. Score. The Wolverines have added on. Okay. Mosley. And he'll have a first down. He's proven that. Good run here, Mosley. Running hard, a first down run, giving up 16 points all season long. Ten of those have come in the second half, really the fourth quarter. Yeah. 
this time Wimberly he is set backwards will be relied on at some point this season Wimberly stays low times marking the first time in 10 years that Michigan is able to do just that despite those turnovers four still will win this game the last time that happened was against UConn Wow in September of 2013 my freshman year I remember that game um, was it your fault <laughs> uh, it's all our faults to be honest <laughs> Out. We all, it's all, all it's all of our faults but uh, you know hey listen four turnovers but your defense forced turnovers so you're negative one on the day but certainly as good as Michigan's been this season a humbling experience today could benefit them in the long run Anaya trying for his third field goal of the game this will be his second 36 yard make of the night and that one is hooking and it is no good Made his first two that time, hooked it left from 36 yards out. The rearview mirror, learn from it, and get ready for Big Ten play. Rutgers is here on Saturday. 31 6 the final, Michigan. Now 3 0, Bowling Green, 1 and 2. Michigan tonight offensively finished with more rushing yards than passing yards. The acting head coach. He's the winning head coach, and he's with Brooke Fletcher. Coach, I'm here. Well, I'm here now with Blake Corum and Coach here. Congratulations on the win, guys. It wasn't easy, but you guys kept fighting. How would you describe the resiliency this guy and the rest of the team showed here to get the win? Yeah, 1-0 uh, every week. That's where we want to be. We're 3-0 now. Uh, excited to have you back, Coach. We miss you. We love you. Um, defense played their tails off. Excited for the future. Talk to this guy right here. <laughs> Nice transition there. Listen, he said we got to get the run game going here over 100 rushing yards, a couple of touchdowns for you. What sparked that energy from you tonight? You know, first, I just want to pray for I don't know his name, but, you know, I just pray he's, he gets better. You know, this is a dangerous sport, but at the end of the day, it's bigger than football. Uh, what sparked me, you know, I, I had a great week of practice. You know, after last week's game, I, I wasn't happy at all. Um, but, you know, the offensive line came firing out today. You know, they were moving their guys, you know, which allowed me to do my job. So as a collective, you know, we did better. Myself, Donovan, Donovan did better. Um, you know, just as a team, we did better. But, <laughs> but as a team, as an offensive line, a running back crew, we did better. But we have to do better. We have to start faster. Can't have these uh, mental mistakes, these, these, these mistakes going into the Big Ten play. Uncharacteristic night for J.J. McCarthy here. I saw you going over and talking to him on the sidelines. What were you saying to him? And I said, hey, keep your head up. And I said, the first thing he said when he threw the last pick, he said, I was trying to throw it away, or I, I should have thrown it away. I think he said, I, I was trying to throw it away. And I said, look, you already corrected your mistake. Keep your chin up. Keep moving. You've had a great two weeks. You still did good today. You managed the game. And hey, we're going to Big Ten play. You know, we got the dub. No complaints. You know, just back to the drawing board. And uh, go from there. You know, we're excited to have Coach Harbaugh back. Uh, I know he's excited. Uh, it's going to be a great week. Uh, and it was nice out here having these new lights, too. Nice, right? I know. How did that help feed uh, feed you guys? And how were you feeding off that energy? You know, it, it was just uh, amazing. You know, I, I took some time to look around. And every time they would cut the lights off, everyone had their flashlights up. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it was just uh, it was cool, you know, because other stadiums, they have it. And, you know, the Big House is the best stadium in college football. It's legendary. Um, and with a new addition, you know, it, it's definitely the best now. That's a nice little touch, right? Uh, most definitely. All right, Blake, thank you so much. Corey, back to you. All right, Brooke. Blake, we thank you for your time. Also want to send get well wishes to Michigan basketball coach Jalen Howard. Jawan Howard, excuse me, who underwent heart surgery yesterday. That'll do it from Ann Arbor for producer Bart Fox, director Andrew Blaustein, and the best crew in television. For Jake Buck, Brooke Fletcher, Corey Provis saying so long. 31-6, the final score tonight. Michigan is now 3-0 on the season.